Hey, what's up guys? It's Rachel. Welcome to my channel if you're new. Welcome back if you are returning. I'm a part-time reseller on sites like eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari, and I love sharing my reseller life with you here on my channel in hopes that it helps you in yours. Um, so a few months ago, I went to my local Uptown Cheapskate and I bought a nice haul full of stuff. They finally had a sale, or actually, I think I had a coupon. And so I paid up for some stuff that I wouldn't ordinarily pay that much for, especially when I go thrifting. And uh, I wanted to give you guys a 90 day update on what sold out of that haul. If this sounds interesting to you, please subscribe to my channel. I post videos a few times a week of tips and tricks and brands I pick up, thrift hauls, unboxing videos, just things that work for me in my reseller life. Drop this a like if you find this helpful and uh, stick around. I will get right into the list here. I'll show you first what has sold. I'll tell you what platform it sold on and how much I got for it and how much I paid for it originally. Um, there are two items that I haven't sold yet, so I'll show you which items I still have sticking around. So, uh, and these are in no particular order. Um, the first thing was this blue goose down jacket from Athleta and I paid $13.59 for it. It was real goose down and uh, it was 20% off. I think everything was 20% off. I paid $13.59. And uh, I purchased all this stuff back in January. So there are some more wintry type items in here. Um, but this this one took a few months to sell, but it sold on April 15th on Mercari. I did get $31 for it. And I sold this one on Mercari for $31. So paid $13.59, sold for $31. Um, not the best profit, but um, I kept getting lowball offers on it and we were moving into April. So I just went ahead and let it go. Um, next up is this Johnny Was uh, sheer, I, I think it was a tunic. I think I listed it as a tunic. Um, this was my first time finding Johnny Was at uh, Uptown Cheapskate. So I was super excited. It was $12.79 with my coupon. It sold the very next day. I listed it for $61 on Mercari. Um, in hindsight, looking back, I do think that I probably could have got a little bit more if I would have held out, but I was all about the quick flip. I was so excited to have found it and to have sold it that fast. So whatever. Um, I got this Patagonia retool um, pullover and it was brand new with tags. It was a size extra, extra small. So I was on the fence about this one in the original video. By the way, if you want to watch the original video, the original haul, I can link that for you guys here. Um, but it was a two extra small and I paid $25.59. So I do feel like I paid up a little bit, but it was new with tags. So I had had good luck selling the Patagonia pullovers up until this point. So I wasn't too concerned, um, but it actually sold like the very first day I listed it and it sold on Mercari for $42. So 25 into 42 not the best profit, but I was excited to just sell it because I was on the fence about picking it up anyway. And uh, next up was this Barefoot Dreams camo sweatshirt. And I was so on the fence about keeping this for myself. It was so soft and I ultimately just listed it because um, I just, I don't need it. I have a bunch of other sweatshirts I wear all the time and uh, I, I decided ultimately I would rather have the profit. So anyway, it was new with tags. I paid $15.99. I sold it for $65 on Poshmark. And actually, um, this sold the very first day that I aired the haul video. So I have a feeling that um, it was one of you guys, one of my viewers. Just a, just a suspicion, can't confirm, but... If it was you, thank you very much. It was a super reasonable offer that came in like a couple hours after that video posted on my YouTube. So I totally appreciate that. Um, and it was a super reasonable offer and a great sale. Um, next up, so I had these Hunter boots and um, they came with like the boot socks in them. So Uptown Cheapskate was selling them with the boot socks in them. Um, I, I decided to split them up and list them separately. And so the boot socks themselves ended up selling for $12 on Poshmark. 
I kind of split the cost, the the boots um, and the boot socks together, $31 with my discount, my coupon. So I the way I have my kind of spreadsheet set up, um, I put the boots for 25 bucks and the boot socks for $5.39, just to sort of proportion of the, the cost. Uh, but anyway, so the boot socks themselves sold for $12 on Poshmark. Um, and then the boots, I actually sold on Facebook Marketplace as a local meetup. Um, I had them listed on all my platforms for a while. And I just, you know, I, I don't like doing meetups. I don't do meetups often, but I was, you know, it was right before we moved and I was kind of unloading some other stuff anyway. And I figured I would just post them locally because um, they were just so heavy and I think that's why they weren't selling because even on Poshmark, I probably would have had to pay for an extra label. I mean, those things were pretty um, heavy. So uh, I ended up posting them for local pickup and I met up with somebody and sold them for $50 cash. So not complaining there. So $62 for both um, uh, out of 30. So I doubled my money on those. And then um, this tan button front dress, this one sold actually relatively qu quickly as well. This one sold for $35 on Poshmark. I paid $10.39. It was J. Crew. It was brand new with tags. Um, I actually didn't even list this right away. I had put it away to like list closer to summer and then I ran out of stuff to list. So I busted into my summer box. It sold within a few days after I listed it. So no complaints there. And then I had this Serena was the style uh, Lily Pulitzer dress. And uh, again, I, I almost had like buyer's remorse on this one too because the style was older. It was a 2011 date on the tag. So uh, I wasn't super sure how this was gonna do. I paid $19.19, um, but it actually sold in just three weeks. I got $55 for this one on Poshmark. Um, so I guess maybe the date of a Lily Pulitzer item is not super important. Um, it's more about style and, and size and color and the fact that this one was brand new with tags definitely helped me out a lot. Um, and actually, the last thing that sold was this open front gray cardigan from Millie. Um, and I was kind of hoping that this one I would be able to find a stock photo because it, you know it's Millie, it's a designer, but I found nothing, so I, I was not super happy with the photographs I took, but uh, this one I originally picked up because Millie doesn't do great for me, um, but I picked it up because it was a lambskin on the pocket. So it was wool with lambskin pockets, and I felt that good quality of material was worth giving a try. I'm glad I did. Um, I paid $13.59 for it, and it sold within just a couple of days for $31 on Poshmark. Um, I think I listed it for 35 based on comps and then I sent a 10% off offer and uh, it was accepted. So that was a really quick profit actually, despite my, my doubts on that one. So I'm glad that I picked it up. Uh, from this haul, I actually have two pieces that have not sold yet. One, I'm kind of not surprised. The other one, I'm very surprised. Um, the one I'm not surprised about is this J. Crew maxi dress. Um, I mean, it is coming into summer now, so I'm hoping it sells here soon, um, but it was a two extra small, and um, I think because of the size, it's kind of sitting a little bit. But I paid $10.39 for it. Uh, I did recently, within the past couple days, delist and relist it, so fingers crossed on this one. Uh, and then the other one that's really super surprising is the Lily Pulitzer Ginger Dress. So this one was a couple years old, but not as old as the first one. It was a much more current style, uh, brand new with tags. And um, this one's kind of a bummer because I paid $39.99 for this one. It was priced at $49.99 in the store, and then I had 20% off, so it still cost me $40. Bucks. Um, it's had a lot of interest, a lot of likes. I've sent a lot of offers. I did delist and relist this uh, like a week or so ago and it got a lot more likes and I've sent a lot more offers and it's still just sitting. I, I don't know what it is. Maybe because it's a size four. Um, maybe because I priced it up a little high because I 
paid more for it. I don't know. You guys will have to let me know in the comments what you think. Why is this dress still sitting here? How come nobody wants this pretty lily dress when they wanted all the other ones? Um, so just to recap, I spent roughly $191 this day at Uptown Cheapskate. And my total profit on the day, since I do this with all my mystery boxes, my total profit on the day is $129. So I've doubled my money on this haul. And um, that's including the 50-ish the dollars I'm still in the hole for the items that haven't sold yet. So I would say overall, I'm happy with this. Uh, I have since done another big Uptown Cheapskate haul. They had an even better sale than this. So I'll link that video here if you want to watch it. That stuff I just listed, though, like not not more than a few weeks ago. I will do a 90-day update on that stuff, though, too. The, I, I do think the profit margins are going to be a little bit higher on those because I got the stuff at a little bit lower cost of goods. I do have enough points in my Uptown Cheapskate account to um, get another 20% off next time I go. I was trying to give it a couple weeks since I kind of looked through everything recently and uh, I'll go in there again and try to get another good haul out of that. So stay tuned. Again, make sure you're subscribed. Um, let me know in the comments too if there's any items that surprised you that I sold or the, the amount I got for it, if they're surprising to you, let me know your thoughts. I'm interested to know what you guys think if you sold stuff like this before. Uh, otherwise, that is it for today's video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next one.